Hello. In Psalm chapter 9, verse 10, the psalmist writes, Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. And so this psalm is talking about what it means to know the Lord. And this isn't just a, a, a academic kind of ascent to the possibility of God. The word know here means something deeper, something more intimate. It's about relationship, those who are in relationship with the Lord, who, who know his name. It's not just like I know my friend Carl's name. It's about how I know him and what it means for, for me to have relationship with him. That's what this is talking about with God at a much deeper level. Those who know the Lord trust him, we're told. And, and so... The psalmist is saying to truly know God is to trust Him. Because if we got to a place where we truly knew His character, where we truly knew His love for us, where we truly knew His power, where we truly knew His holiness, where, where he tr we truly knew His intent for our lives, if we, if we truly knew the Lord, then we would trust Him. And so what that means for me is that where there are spaces in my life where I'm lacking trust in the Lord, it means that that's a place in my life where I need to get to know Him better. Because if I, if I truly knew God, if I truly knew what it meant to know His name, then there would be no absence of trust in my life. And so to know the Lord is to trust Him. And if I don't trust Him, then I need to know Him a bit better, not lean further away from Him. And to make this point even clearer, the, the psalmist says, Those who know Him, those who trust in Him, have never been forsaken. Sometimes it might feel like that, like we've been forsaken by God. In fact, even Jesus, who's fully human, fully God Himself, cried out from the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We might have moments of darkness in our life where, where it feels like we're completely forsaken. But it's in those moments that if we know, that if we trust the Lord, we can have this belief as well that we won't be forsaken. Jesus cried that out, but, but we know that, that he had confident belief in what was to come after his death, and that was the resurrection. And so this gives us hope as well. This gives us something that we can trust in as well. As even in this moment of darkness in my life that, that some of us may experience from time to time, ends in death, even that, doesn't mean that God's forsaken us because he's concerned not just about this life but the life that is to come and so my prayer for you today is that you would know the Lord more and more intimately that you might grow in deeper trust in him in Jesus name amen